with me. Mm -hmm. But uh, Snap was very much not the case, uh, at least. What are you talking about? Snaps are great. Ubuntu <laughs> forever. You just need to add more. You just need more compression. <laughs> And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how-tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. Man, it's going to be another big show. I'm Vince Stone here at LGC Actual, switching the bits, doing all the fun stuff here in beautiful downtown Athens, joined every week by the Canadian monster himself, the Rawr. Gummy Aardvark. That's his stage name. Jordan Svang. I better be like a 15 milligram THC gummy aardvark. Otherwise, I'm going to be very upset. And the man who only listens to near automata um, in Portuguese. I don't know how he does it. <laughs> Actually, it's the first one. Near replica. Can you, can, whatever. Hello. Can, can, you, can you start singing Become as Gods in Portuguese? Well, here's here's the problem I'm having with this. I was just making shit up for Pedro and he still pulled a well actually on me. <laughs> it's gonna be a fun night, kids. Stay Pedro, tuned. Pe Pedro karaoke is the most terrifying thing you're ever gonna experience this Halloween. And it's all, all gamerish. All of you beautiful, high functioning sociopaths out there helping us form cocaine. Like two canes and Voltron. Yeah. Did you see the mock up I made with the t shirt? I didn't. No. Oh, oh, remind me um, during the break. I'll show that to you because we need someone to art and I'm willing to uh, those money things I'll give you if you can do the art thing good. So, Gold press latinum? Yeah. We're, we're, we're going to get a, what's his name? He's going to like, yeah. Elvis? Yeah. Latinum showers. That's what they call them. What? <laughs> you know, no, eject button, eject button. No, 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 no. Smart um, man. What have you been up to, man? You've been lifting anything heavy particularly? Um, no, I haven't because all the fucking gyms are closed and I'm trying the, the, the best quote I can get on delivery for a squat rack that has an over a thousand pound capacity is eight weeks. So, mm. uh, so now, now it's determining, um, who, who I'm going to give the money to and how long that eight to 10 weeks is actually going to be. Uh, but no, I got, I got, I got, uh, my birthday this week. I'm 31 now. So I, I, I got hey. one, another, an, an, another luck, nine years. Like next time, birthday. Another nine years before I die. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I took the week off. I got high. I played a bunch of video games. I watched Deep Space Nine. Jill got me some barbell collars. So when I eventually get the equipment, Wait, is that going to uh, hurt your neck? Maybe they're they're really narrow. I haven't tried to get them around my head just yet. Okay. Uh, and and someone sent me. They didn't they didn't leave a note or anything. But they sent mystery me a, controller. Dun, dun, dun. Mystery Amazon Luna controller. From uh, my Amazon <laughs> Are you going to enjoy that? I am, yeah. Are you sure? No. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> all, 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 all joy is fleeting. Yes. De how, how Desire about you, Pedro? is temporary. Embrace the void. Pedro, have you done anything worth merit? I, uh, let's see. I started work on uh, what's going to be the next iteration For of the For our Steambox. audio listeners, he reached over and grabbed a fan so i'm assuming the answer yes. is no but he's gonna power through it i'm a big uh, fan i'm going to i was also picking up the other thing this is a <laughs> noctua chromax uh it's just what they call their black fans that aren't you know it's like brown. a regular fan but twenty dollars more <laughs> Yeah, because you didn't get the brown uh, version. Actually, this one was cheaper than the poo brown one, so <laughs> that's why I bought Noctua. it. Yeah. You changed, man. <laughs> why? you got to pay more for the non-poo brown stuff, Noctua. This is how it's worked. This is why I loved you. <laughs> Basically, this is one of the uh, the thin um, 120 mil versions, and I'm going to take out the uh, fan that's on the heatsink itself on the processor, and I'm going to mount this on the big 120 mil hole that I cut out of the top of the steam box. And uh, I also got a tube of uh, thermal grizzly uh, cryonaut. It's so that tomorrow that's I can. It's going to be out like very air. hard to get like spread evenly over the fan blades. <laughs> what, what, what it's not the for hair? the fan, but you know, to your point, uh, it comes with these spreader tips. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've thrown those away myself, so good luck. Um, <laughs> I, 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 had, I had a weed grinder that came with one of those once. I, I see stuff like that, and I'm mean, like, oh, you mean a credit card? Yes, spreaders. Uh. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, this is uh, so I can repaste the uh, the 1080 tomorrow because. 
it's still working, and the prices of the new generation of video cards stick around. We're going to be talking about that. I haven't been particularly appealing, so I'm just going to do some Pedro general has maintenance. Broke his GPU. Uh, what have I been up to? <laughs> Dude, speaking of cards, I've been trying to track down a PCI sound card because I kind of want to do a little backstory for it. Because I'm like, oh, that one's PCI sound card. Oh, Firewire's too advanced. It's too new for me now. Let's roll it back. We'll see if we can get all the way back to ISA. Um, this one has me interested because you can still buy it new today. Like, there's no like, oh, this is for retro. It's like, no, this is like a full, fully supported, full Linux support product. Stupid expensive. But you can get the used version, the old version from like 13 years ago, which is the same product. So there's the story right there. This thing's just still made. Trying to track that down. Um, also, the Raspberry Pi, man, that HQ webcam, the video. Uh, it's been up for patrons for like a week and a half, almost two weeks. Uh, now it's up for just mass consumption. If you want to, want to see how the, from this shot right here, from my DSLR to like the Canon Vixia and um, a Logitech webcam plus the Pi HQ webcam. Well, I turned it into a USB webcam. Go check that out, man. It's the thing. It's up on the web zone. And uh, I got to give Aldeus a thanks, man. I got to give a special thanks to Aldeus. Cause what did he do? <laughs> he saved me from ending up with like um, extra drills. Did he buy you a drill? No, no. I just got a message. He's like, the fuck do you plan on doing with a drill? I'm like, oh shit, that's still on our studio wish list. Because <laughs> <laughs> that was a reminder because I don't use the wish list of like, oh, please go buy me this. It's awesome if you do. We love you. I'll even put your name up back here. But it's like, shit, I'm going to buy. And I'd put that up there as a reminder to go buy drill bits, which I'd already bought the drill bits. <laughs> <laughs> so I got a Neo, but I don't know. Sur if, surprise drill. Right. But, uh, but but not in the fun way. Not really. I wasn't. <laughs> could have showed up tonight with like dual drills. And like, and yeah. Drill, drills the Kimbo coming soon from Amazon Studios. <laughs> oh, I mean, I can't always drill the horse. That's what you think. You just got a bad attitude. I can drill the horse whenever I want. I just know, you know, it's the steam. Let us update. There yeah, it is. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so there's a Steam Halloween sale that was going on until the second of November. That's what what day is that? I, I've lost. How, how track are they doing the um, tomorrow is, for is you? The, uh, okay, yeah. here's, a, here's like a side question. How's the Halloween hanging out? Like, is it pretty much been Americanized in uh, Canada? And they're like, yeah, we just do the Halloween thing. No, yeah, uh, that, that's been the that's been the case for like as long as I've been doing Halloween. Okay, it's not yeah, ever but, really taken a firm hold in Britannia. No, 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 not really. Uh, there's some places that go, okay, if you decorate your place, it, people can go and go trick-or-treating at your door. No one does. In Portugal, they just abduct so. children who are running around in costumes. Uh, in but Portugal, anyways. People... Uh, so, yeah, that's costumes. not even a thing. <laughs> no, you wear costumes on Halloween. Unlike us every Saturday uh, for reviewing video games. No, but uh, there, there's a... Uh, SteamDB.info has a uh, has a sale thing. Uh, they have the uh, upcoming sales happening. Uh, we're going to get a fighting game sale on November 12th. The autumn sale is at the end of November, and the winter sale is at the end of December, same as it was for the last year and the previous years and all the other years. So uh, I, I don't know. Steam sales have lost a lot of their luster. I don't know. If you're looking to get Kings of Kung Fu for dirt cheap in a couple weeks, you'll have the opportunity for that. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. Of the games left on my wish list, uh, it it looks like most of them don't drop at all, and the ones that do are like eh, fifty percent off. It's, how about them ninety percent sales? And, well, I uh, mean, I like SteamDB.info <laughs> just because you can do the sort. Like you can get a scapegoat right now. <laughs> Woohoo! <Yep. laughs> Forty nine cents. And by the way, yes, that's right. There's a filter for um, Steamos Linux. Yeah. What's the, what's 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 the, what's the cheapest game on Linux? This right is now? what we're about to fucking find out. Um, <laughs> drum, drum roll, please. It's probably um, scapegoat. Probably. If you don't got the free to play. Portal. Ones. Wait. <laughs> nope, hang on. Uh, uh, Price. No, that was forty nine. Uh, uh, yeah. Scapegoat. All right. Followed by Dweller. 
They're, they're, they're a bunch of them. Just, <laughs> Crash mo, Drive mo, 2, man. Momo.exe. Wait, why is there an exe on Linux? <laughs> All the history of the great game. Okay, most expensive game on Linux. <laughs> <laughs> Drum roll, please. I'm curious. Arp, but, uh, 20 uh, bucks? Uh, uh, RPG Maker. The RPG, MD? but I don't know. <laughs> it's 75% off, man. Uh, that, that, but that's that's anything with the discount code on it. So yeah, well, all right. Okay. Well, yeah. most expensive during the sale. Yes. There you go. I did. Uh, okay. I looked. <laughs> I looked. Wait, wait, wait. I, I couldn't find anything during the spooky Halloween sale that I necessarily wanted. I'm I'm not sad about that, but I'm like, ah, well, oh. you know, because some you always hope to see like maybe something, maybe a game that you forgot about. You're like, oh yeah, oh, and it's half off. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna grab that. I, I I wasn't interested when it was eighty dollars. I am interested now that it's twenty dollars. Yeah, that's mm. really- yeah. <laughs> but to keep this train rolling, man, let's talk about some of the top releases of September twenty twenty. And yeah, this is the thing Valve does now every week. It's good in a week, month, and week months. The week months, yes, they they tend to roll into it. Oh, Avengers. Oh, that game just ate all their shit. <laughs> You didn't capture the Avengers, you captured their stunt doubles, you idiots! Pretty much, man. Uh, one thing I did see in here, and if we scroll down uh, and keep scrolling, Hades was in there. I saw that was from, um, who made that? Supergiant, but we Super didn't get version. Yeah, it's SDL, so they're... It's- yeah. Serious Sam 4, we're still waiting, you Croatian psychopaths, for a Linux version, and, uh... Yeah. I don't, maybe, oh, yes. Maybe Pedro's favorite game. new game, uh, Waifu Football. <laughs> look, uh, it's if you actually have a look at that uh, game's page, you'll see that, like Strider was so keen to point out when I brought it up on Discord. I remember seeing a it's, trailer uh, for that game a while back going, that has. <laughs> okay, that, it, it's unhinged looking, is all I can say. Yeah, that's got fuck all to do with football. In fact, if you uh, watched Captain Tsubasa, the anime series, you know that that has fuck all to do with football. It's all about the -the over-the-top acrobatics and the stunt kicks and... Yeah, well, n- it's next thing you're gonna Tekken, tell me that Dragon, but with a football. <laughs> next thing you're gonna tell me is that Dragon Ball Z has nothing to do with martial arts. Yeah. <laughs> it's about what, what, as what, close to football as Dragon Ball Z to martial arts. What, what, yeah. what kind of hot <laughs> bullshit is that? So, so speaking of like native Linux versions, uh, Unrailed and Medieval Incest Simulator Three are your Linux picks for September. So, <laughs> Brave New World kids. Yeah. No, Brave the, the heathen in me doesn't uh, didn't really see any interesting Linux games come out this month. But I think I like a play lot Hades. of people. I'm yeah, Hades. I'm not. I've Honestly, I've just been watching people play that on and off. Just people, it's a roguelike. You won't yeah. like it. <laughs> I know. I've watched enough of them. Like, ah, I'm not down with that. But I think like a lot of people, I'm sitting back waiting on the Sirius Sam because, you know, I love your crew team, but I'm not giving you a fucking cent until the uh, Linux version comes yeah. out. Our, our Theron yeah. spent that money for me. I don't know. Have, having dicked around with that a little bit in, in the Proton... I would really like Crotein to fix all the graphical shit before mm-hmm. they bring it to Linux. That would be nice. Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe get that Vulcan <laughs> renderer working and not make me use the DirectX 11 one for Dix Fix. Oh, man. Oh, that, would, that would be nice. So, Timothy's got some good news for us. Yeah, uh, Timothy Dude. has a link on his uh, on his Twitter page to, their, to Valve's GitLab, which I learned is now... GitLab is apparently what they're doing for projects that are now, like, being... Uh, soliciting contributions from the public. GitHub is for those that... This is the shit that we're releasing. Uh, but anyways, uh, they put up the Steam runtime tools for Pressure Vessel on their GitLab. So, this is basically... They forked Flatpak. Uh, they're doing some stuff with it uh, to make it a little more game-focused. Uh, they show how to bundle libraries, how to actually make the flat packs and so on and so forth, how to build debug versions and whatnot. Um, and following the design structure of Flatpak is consistent. We had that, I was going to say it was last year, but then I checked and it felt like a year ago, felt like three years ago, but it was actually in like March that Valve gave the presentation <laughs> of how Pressure Vessel is supposed to feel, is supposed to actually work. Right. Um, and, and, it, and it's consistent with that. Um, so I, I went through their entire readme doc. You can too, the links in the show notes. Uh, there's still quite a bit of design work to do they have it so that like simple games will work but there's still a lot more use cases that they need to cover like shared uh, game folders config folders and so on we're going to be talking a little bit more about some of the problems they have to deal with in the new section but Mm -hmm. um but yeah um this is this is the existing work on pressure vessel it looks pretty good um 
hopefully now that it's open, people are going to start hacking on it and testing more games with it. And maybe we'll get something next year that is fully pressurized. And something that's actually being designed from the ground up to have, you know, performance or applications that need that performance in mind, which so far, I mean, Flatback did a pretty good job. App Image, it doesn't really do any kind of sandboxing, so me. Mm. But uh, Snap was very much not the case, uh, at least. What are you talking about? Snaps are great. Ubuntu <laughs> forever. You just need to add more. You just need more compression. <laughs> You, you need more compression and a fatter network pipe. Yeah. For any kind of performance-sensitive application, like, you know, a goddamn video game. And if we're going to be doing yep. pressure anything, anything that's, like, uh, being delivered over pressure, when you click play, it needs to go ding, 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 ding. <laughs> now, it's like a pressure cooker. You leave it to boil, and it goes, Psss! Pressure. Push it down on me. Press Listen, it down on I, you. No, Pedro, you don't do that. That's how you end up with a vanilla ice. <laughs> that's, that's oh man yeah oh, man. oh it's completely different it's not no no now he's doing new metal so lay off vanilla ice man he's, 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 he's hardcore now just in time for halloween we oh got some yeah no, uh, from russia with love Pretty much. yeah apparently a bunch a bunch of uh russian modders for vengers of all games <laughs> uh, decided yeah, I decided, you know what, let's just put out a bit of a content update. And the dev said, yep, yeah, you do that, and we'll put it on Steam. And they did. It will be over on November the 2nd, because, uh, yeah, that's when uh, this particular uh, instance of festivities ends, uh, at least as far as the internet's concerned. So, yeah, it, it it isn't like any kind of new content or anything. It's literally just a skin pack for cars and uh, that's terrifying. The weapons and some of the levels, so you can enjoy Halloween in game. And yeah, it's uh, the actual update. They say will come at a later date. We're still waiting on that. I'm still waiting on that because I actually like that game. So. <laughs> but I, yeah, Avengers. I, I jumped into it and I played around for a minute, in which. <laughs> Good on you lot, you know, like at 20 years old. Yeah, let's go ahead and put it out and put it up for Linux. Uh, Pedro, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do in that game. It makes no sense. Uh, but then you're again, not I, the only one. Okay. <laughs> but again, is I, I, that I part of the game's rounds? charm that no one is uh, out there? Yeah, to a certain degree. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I, 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 don't, uh, I was the able game to actually drive tells you what to do. You just have to decipher it. <laughs> that I rolled over on my back and I think I died. I'm not 100%. You need to hit the button before your car starts losing durability and explodes. Okay. <laughs> I vaguely remember driving around to that game and thinking, man, this looks like something made in the 90s. It is cool, though, that, like, uh, the developers are are willing to, you know, bring in this community effort to add more content to this game. It's nice to see that um, when a uh, botting community is trying to keep a very old game alive, the developers embrace that, and they're like, yo, we're, we're going to give you first-party support because you're doing the work that we're not, right? So, yeah. And this is one of the um, Vanges of interesting case, if not for the fact that they still have the source. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 1998, they have the source. Yeah. It's the same original uh, developer working on it, Probably not the entire developer team, but the lead developer is still the same. And in my yeah, mind, that's in my mind, the only <laughs> copy is still on the original zip disk. Probably. And that's the one, one. They, yeah, that's the one they've been using this entire time. There's no other no, backups. It's, it's it's a big five and a quarter floppy. <laughs> so oh. another update is the deep. Oh. No, we're not talking about the boys. We're talking about golf with your mm. fiends, Damn man. It. Grab your snorkels, get your flippers. We're launching a brand new course. And of course they have, man. Um, it's like golf with your friends, but with more wonder, uh, more under, wonder water. Yes. What? Wonder water? It's like a wonder, wonder water. water. But you're underwater. You're dying. <laughs> Slowly gasping for oxygen. They've uh, really been coming out. They've been showing out some uh, good stuff with the maps. They've definitely stepped up their game as opposed to, here, here's like a random impossible map. Go have fun, fuckos. They're themed now. <laughs> Hello There's there, a worms, little man. bit of strat, and I'm happy to see it. This is going to bring 12-player action, so that's kind of okay. interesting. I'm happy to see that, and my only problem is this. For the previous update, because I remember Pedro getting you got a message from me. I'm like, All right, can, can you log in to go with your friends? It's like random in the middle of the week because I saw you're online. 
I'm like, can you get online? And you're like, yeah. I'm like, huh, I can't get online anymore. Then I just like rolled back, you know, I played the Proton game and get to like 4209. I'm like, okay, it works with this, whatever. It runs better than Proton anyway. This last update, can't get online, period. Not the only person. I saw one other person, but I think they were under Windows. They can't get online either. Um, I did post in that thread. I'm like, yo, I can't get online with Debian 10. And, well, there, there's that. Okay. That's where I'm at. <laughs> I haven't tried, actually. Mm. So. Mm. <laughs> so should we talk about Black Mesa or whatever? Yeah, why I not? I suppose we should talk yeah. about Black Mesa. No, I, 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 I think we should have a longer <laughs> awkward silence. Just I make people think no, no, I, I think everyone Black was waiting to hear your opinion on your favorite game, Jordan. Yeah. You usually have like a witty rejoinder. Um, <laughs> Anything. I, 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 I was going to interject with like the drowning thing saying how that would be. Pro- That's too late now. Let's talk about Black Mesa. <laughs> Definitive Edition made a man. Um, doesn't this look so ooky spooky? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. Hello, everyone. Happy Halloween. Black Mesa It's a full 50% off until November 2nd. To celebrate, they get a gang of shit. They've messed with stuff, man. They got power buttons, Pedro. You can get the lights on and off and shit. <laughs> this, this is next level. Um, something with on rails. They've updated that. They've passed out the arts. They've even got hostiles on rails, which is more terrifying. Mm-hmm. My favorite, my favorite thing, something I can identify with personally, questionable ethics. Always a fan of that. And surface. Tension. I'm personally a fan of surface tension. I like being able to put my But don't forget water. about the Freeman. Uh, okay. <laughs> there, there's apparently a gang of stuff in here and you can try it out uh, if you have you don't have to buy a separate game so good on them for that you know you right click it's a public beta I'm not going to fuck with it because I'm doing a Black Mesa playthrough and I don't want to lose any of my progress because <laughs> all throughout that I was losing progress left and right man so I'm finally I'm like nope I can't play with it is there anything to be excited about, Pedro? Uh, one of the things that they bring up is that they, and something that they'd already done with the first release of Black Mesa, was they changed a couple of the levels that were bad, namely on a rail. That entire section was bad, and Valve should be ashamed of it. But they changed it, and the way that they very much streamlined it, you could still see some of the set pieces. They couldn't get rid of those because that's... <laughs> you get you start messing with the set pieces the fanboy is cracked out on your ass but what they did with the original version was actually really really awesome and it very much streamlined that level and i got through that level in like five minutes like oh okay why wasn't it like this originally valve and oh, they're yeah. still doing that they're still uh improving on it. it's like very good yeah on, on, on a rail, I, I, that that one that one stuck out to me in the original Half Life. Like even even like fifteen years later, that was, was a slog. Go, yes. go yeah. here, clear out this area, move on, go to the next area, clear it out, and so on and so forth. So much safes coming, so much safes coming. Well, I think they get the basic out and this definitive edition. They they're gonna be dicking around a little bit with the narrative. So um, brave souls, um, have fun with that and see what happens. But we need to move on to the. Haven't we talked about the Orion Trail before it was out? It was an early access or like pre-release. Maybe I, I we we talked about Oregon Trail and we we threw chairs at it. And we never I get I, we never get Oregon Trail, which is like where you were your pipe trail. organ. It, well, you're a pipe organ with internal organs, and you you, ah. you you go to reclaim they've been stolen from you. Ah, well, oh. that, this this is not this. It's not. It has nothing to do with Oregon Trail either. That was the first thing I checked. Oregon from, Trail. You know. <laughs> shell games yeah um but uh it's it's basically or oregon trail but in in space it has a bit of an ftl thing going for it i can kind of dig it um right now it's like eight bucks so it's not too badly priced i guess um i don't know when it, whenever a game self-describes itself as hilarious i gotta i kind of hold my breath because you know it could be they could be very confident in their jokes or they could have mm-hmm. written a bunch of jokes that they think are hilarious that are not actually hilarious and if we'll look at the mixed reviews that's probably the reason uh why i didn't pick it up when it was on a massive sale not uh damn daniel <laughs> it was when your first thing accent. is uh not re- recommended I'm like okay Product refunded. 
Damn. Um, Ooh. <laughs> no real yeah. gameplay because it, be, because it's or, it's Oregon Trail or it's Oregon Trail. And this guy's like, I want an FTL. This is not FTL. Uh. Why would you think this would be FTL? When I think about this, I'm my I think about the uh, modern Oregon Trail that you know we're on, on the Apple II. Yeah. No, no, no. The modern one. We have uh, what's it called? The Oregon, Oregon Trail. Trail. Yeah. The one on Steam yeah. for Linux. Yeah. yeah. Oregon Trail. Yeah. Where you invade the Walmarts and all that place. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yep. No threat to Canada. <laughs> yeah. And kind of um, like that. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I would expect from this. This is like, this is Death Road in Canada, but it was Starships. Yeah. It's more pick your own adventure style of thing. There's this, there, there's not that, not even that much combat from what I could see in the uh, trailers and the screenshots. It's all pick your own adventure style progression. Hmm. <laughs> So I, yeah, I mean, no, that that in the mixed reviews, I'm like, eh, I'll wait. You could just go play FTL too. <laughs> if that's, yes. I, I think that's what most people who buy this game really want. They maybe think, oh yeah, Oregon Trail. I remember playing that game as a kid. Now it's gonna be spaceships. No, that game sucked. It's yeah, bad. I don't go, go think about that. When I definitely 100 when I saw that, nothing. Now again, I don't know a lot about FTL, but apparently I know enough about FTL not to confuse it with that. I'm like, no, that's not FTL. I don't know, man. This is what the reviews are saying. So. No, I'm agreeing with what the reviews are saying, Jordan. What do you mean you don't know? Played FTL to death and hoping this would be a good replacement. It's not, quote unquote. That's what I'm saying. I would not confuse the two. I would never pick this up hoping it would be FTL. That's what the, that's what Bludgeon did, and he refunded it. So I don't know what we're <laughs> arguing about. We're not arguing. <laughs> you are arguing about agreeing with each other. Yeah. Literally. Yes. That, that happens quite a bit. <laughs> All right, up, up next we got we got Star ninety nine. This one's kind of interesting because it's it's nineteen forty two, but with ninety nine main PvP. Um, it sounds interesting. It's very likely going to be a massive fuster cluck, but online multiplayer is online multiplayer in these quarantine times. So I don't know. It's like a a battle royale shoot 'em up, but it's like a like a horizontal scrolling. I'm not I'm not a hundred percent. Oh, you on get this. to play as a little Iron Man. Yeah. That's yep. horrifying. <laughs> but yeah, no, the, the way that they show it, it's like you play in the uh, center lane and there's two others that are actual players playing next to you. So you always have that bit of competition going. Mm. Mm-hmm. You see, I want, I want asymmetrical shmup where it's you and a hundred other pe- nine, the 99 other players are individual little bullshit ships. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> that w- <laughs> Could very well be the case. <laughs> It's not entirely hard to fake that kind of stuff. But yeah. Up to 99 no. players, man. 7.99. Uh, do you need anything special to play this? No, not at all. Not really. Hmm. No. <laughs> One I mean, gig of space. It's, it's 1942. Four gigs of RAM and an Intel processor. There, away you go. <laughs> Or 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 what? One of the other horizontal scrolling shooters. I can't remember their freaking names. Yeah. Cool. So we've talked about this next one at least once before. Yes, uh, it, when it was first announced. This is Savage Halloween, and um, I guess it makes sense that it came out on the 26th of October. Tracks. Not, and not, not, not today? No. Halloween? <laughs> <laughs> it, the, they were trying to beat the clock a little bit, maybe get a few extra sales. But yeah, no, it's it still looks very, very contra e uh, with the uh, general progression. There's a couple of well, levels that... of course that- it does. Listen, just because it's got Santa with a Gatlin gun, it's not doesn't make it contra, okay? <laughs> Apparently. Hey, I, I was told by Mr. Foxdog that Santa is riding a penguin, too, so we gotta not upset Jill. <laughs> This has got a yes. lot of nods to a lot of... Uh, this is what I remember talking yeah, no, about. Yeah, it's like, got a lot of nods toads, to yeah. Castlevania, Castlevania 2, Contra. Battle Yeah. Toads. Yeah. <laughs> uh, t- I'm, 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 in the underwater segment, I was seeing a lot of, like, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Three Turtles in Time, that fucking underwater level. Shinobi. Yeah. Well, Ninja yeah. Gaiden, anyway. <laughs> oh, and there's the Battle driving toads, segment, yeah. too. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? I'm, <laughs> well, you know what? Well, I'm, I'm going to pick this up. I'm going to play this. It's... Four dollars. Four bucks. Yeah, yeah. Really? Uh, <laughs> Three ninety nine. The way you go. I, I, I saw the first time I saw this was on like a show covering like bargain basement PSN games. So yeah. like you know why, why not right? I'll give it. A, it's one hundred and eighty yeah. megs too, so it's not like that's one thing that no, irritates that, that's me. That's actual retro, not hipster. Well, <laughs> retro. Yeah. Well, that's more reasonable. Not, not retro. Unity retro. This, right? Because it really doesn't. But I. I like to pretend it bothers me when I see them. Like, oh, this is like pixel perfect, hipster accurate. It's like nine gigs. I'm like, get fucked. 
<laughs> Get out of here with that. High res pixels. <laughs> Pretty much, man. Those pixels. The highest. Yeah, those are 40s <laughs> pixels, man. Uh, one more thing before we get out of here, people. Speaking of retro, sometimes Ugh. you got pixel retro, but sometimes you want to like capture real retro. You know, 2000, the year 2000, fucking millennia, turn of the turn of the century. Yeah, way back then, kids. How do you do that? Well, you do it with 3D and four by three. Yes. Arcante. Arcante. Arcanan. Caliente. Yes. An old school. Arcaliente. First person party based RPG. And it appears, the best I can tell, either that or this guy just genuinely doesn't understand how to do screenshots. It looks like I want to believe it's in 4x3. <laughs> no, the, 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 the video is in 4x3. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's got evil ah. enemies and uh, pawns. Yes, and and centaurs. I don't. I don't know. Like going through the going through the description here. Like this is clearly a one man job. It's the dude's passion project about discovering how to not get killed in like a game like Eye of the Boulder or Hillsfar because it does like the four man party first person thing like a lot of those old games used to do he talks a lot in the description about like yeah remember when you didn't fucking know what the hell was going on in the games that's when they were really fun and you were just dying all the time trying to figure out the basic subsystems so the guy has some nostalgia for it so he put this together i guess it, what do it, yeah, wait, wait wait a minute did, did did he really walk out on stage was like i didn't ever fucking read the chunky ass manuals that came with these games and neither did you do you want to relive that <laughs> yeah Ch ch chunky ass manuals with the copy production that didn't actually that gave you about two-thirds of what you needed to actually play the game and the rest of it's like mm -hmm. oh you can figure it out yeah and it's i looked at the page and uh, the first thing i saw was the uh, a little uh, i'm, I'm, I'm logo. glad you looked at it Pedro. you didn't try to feel your way through it <laughs> i licked it i tried uh, to taste it mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, I look at the like, logo, it's like, okay, the logo looks really interesting. If the game actually has that kind of hand-drawn pencil aesthetic, I'm down. Let's go. Then I looked at the screenshot, I was like, yeah, that was club. That was just clubbed together with um, assets. That's, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't really keep but, track yeah, it's of... it's the one um, person, so probably. <laughs> yeah, like Unity Assets. I don't know. Is that Unity Assets? I don't know. It, it, it looks a lot like it. Unity Assets. <laughs> I, I hope this motherfucker, like, rings us up by, like, Monday. He's like, yo, this is all hand design, I hope I'm bitch. wrong. I, I really, really do. This, and, is, uh, so this, is why it, this is why I'm telling you, internet, it's pointless. And it's fruitless to argue with Pedro, because he's like, okay, whatever. Next. And... I, I, I'm wrong a lot. Go figure. <laughs> Go fish. No, don't tell him to fish. You imagine what night hellscape that would bring? Yes, and that's why I'm telling him no, to go fish. Hit her with a fishing rod. That, no, have fun. Yeah. No? I had two fishies while growing up. They died eventually because... Did, did, they, did you catch them with a rod? Really yes. No. It was okay. like an aquarium pet fish. There, pet there, fish. there is a difference between, okay, coming up next, we're going to explain to Pedro what the difference between going fishing is and owning an aquarium. Same thing. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. But delicious. And wouldn't you know it, it's about time we actually um, <laughs> drop the whole conversation about fishes and uh, give you the news. You I, did I love him so. That. It was like a son to you. <laughs> And it went wherever I did go. And like the most dangerous of fish, it looked at you and went, moo. That's a spooky fish. Moo Chris fish. The spookiest. The spooky you're, fish. You're, you're tangled with a moo fish. <laughs> yes, I have. That's where I lost my left leg. Moo. <laughs> You hear it at night, you hear the scraping on the windows, followed by the... Yeah, call call me Ishmael, motherfucker, I'm going after that the moofish. I'm telling you, dude, you're thinking about it, you're like, oh no, it's a hover cow, because you're on the, you know, eighth floor, eighth story, and you're like, nah, no, it's a moofish. No, you, 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 it just the turns moofish. out you're under... It's back. It just turns you're, out, you, you see it turns the glass, out you're underwater this like entire time. Little pucker marks, on it. Like, that's how you know you were visited by the moofish. <laughs> Yes. If you want to avoid a visit from the Mewfish, you should head on over to Linux. If you want to find and such fine storytelling. Yes. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> no, 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 no. The, the, the Moo Fish is our protection racket. Racket. If you don't, if you don't subscribe to our Patreon, he's gonna come and bust your legs. We'll, we'll keep developing protection, this story further. The protection racket. It's a protection racket. Protection racket. <laughs> All right. So, LakesGameCast.com. Put your mouse over that support button. We got. No, well, we got a Patreon page that will that yeah. will take you there. So we you can do that too. <laughs> uh, become a Patreon, you get access to our Discord channel for a buck. Uh, for a little bit more, you can get access to the show notes, which lets you suggest stories. Mister Foxdog and Arthur in, in chat realm. Uh, our Discord uh, have been suggesting stories all week, so you can do that. You can yep. send us messages. You can do that stuff. Um, if you're a Patreon, you get access to the pre pre super chosen. Uh, that's an extra hour of Linux gamey content. We have a video stream that you can watch. It's on YouTube. We do for, um, executive producers. We go ahead and throw that up. If you want like a live one hour extra experience and Hey man, if you like the sound of our voices, that's why we do that extra show. It's an extra hour of content. Plus, uh, we also have the live and uncut versions. Indeed, bigger, longer, like, and uncut. Yeah, two hours on Wednesday. Uh, people talking tech, um, other general nonsense in this show, which is usually <laughs> like four and a half nonsense, yeah. to five hours <laughs> of background <laughs> noise from people you trust. We got a store, store.linuxgamecast.com. You can check that out. We got t-shirts, we got stickers, we got coffee mugs. Spooky. No. Spooky <laughs> fanny packs. Not yet, but yeah. we, we, you can be a spooky francophile, uh, or you can make my face disappear. Either way, it's fine. Um. Yeah. Get get your, get yourself a Hellux coffee mug. Fill it with mayo and just like gently sip on it on like mm-hmm. Skype calls. It's, no, it's, man. It's you, you gotta get like the um mayo liqueur out. You gotta let the mayo sit, preferably on a window seal for you know a few days. Then you take off the the nasty it, stuff at top and the bottom. What's left in the glass? The nice liquid ah, stuff. The mayo liqueur. Sun, sun, sun dried mayonnaise. Sun cured mayo. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> We, 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 we got we got Amazon wish zones. You can check out the stuff that we use mm-hmm. um, and maybe crib our crap. It's fine. We we are. It's it's there for you to do that. We got to thank our new Patreon poop sock and Woo-hoo. all of the people who are using our affiliate link. Yeah, I wanted to give a big shout out because I got a notification um, from EU, which is uh, Deutschland, um, Space France and I, Belgium. I could be. Yeah, sure. Why not? Why not Belgium? Luxembourg, um, Liechtenstein, no, we, we all, get the, a, all the power players. We get a few bucks from the affiliate links and people were shopping through that. So thank you for that. And uh, that's pretty awesome. The the only, I think uh, we got a, uh, we're talking about the Amazon links. Uh, the only place I've never gotten, um, you know, except for like 20 bucks, but Hey man, 20 bucks is 20 bucks. Come on. Uh, <laughs> UK, $20 is $20. That's Benstone. what I'm saying, right? Pedro pretty Benstone much makes up everything from uh, the UK on the island. I don't want Pedro's bought some shit. <laughs> Look, I just bookmarked it <laughs> with the uh, affiliate code at the end. So, yeah, whenever I go on Amazon. <laughs> Pe- Pedro's good like that. Canada, not a fucking cent in like three and a half years. <laughs> That's not true. I bought some crap off our affiliate link. It's, it's never been enough to like. I'm not sure enough to make up for the, it's your, uh, the minimum. I, yeah. it's, it, sure, sure, sure. Blame me. That's fine. No, no. You're, I, you're to help. You're helping. No one's blaming you, sweet. I blame Scott personally. Well, it that's that's just the escape Scott. You can't use the escape Scott. Escape machine. <laughs> Escape is, is, isn't that the cheapest game on Steam right now? Escape Machine? Yes. <laughs> cheapest Linux game on Steam. <laughs> so let's right. talk about, uh, as is tradition, driver news. Yeah. Not for anything, for a very special card that came out this week um, the GeForce RTX 3070. NVIDIA is so horrible, they're stupid, they're Linux broken thing, it'll eat you and kill you. And you're, yeah, they've already got the drivers out for the card. Can't even get the card yet because that's how NVIDIA mother rolls, kids. Not much in here, man. Uh, added AMD secure memory encryption compatibility. That's the thing. All right, something about the uh, NVIDIA X driver that was affecting X11 rendering. That's been sorted somehow. And there's a bug with Vulcan barrier optimization that allowed back to back copies to run unordered. All of that's been sorted. Something about Prime, though. Yeah, that's that's kind of interesting. Uh, they've been doing a lot of stuff with um, GPU offloading on the NVIDIA driver because that's like you can you can use Bumblebee uh, on Linux if you want Optimus support, but the actual native support from the NVIDIA driver is actually better. You should use that. Um, yes. 
So this one, they, they have support now. You can offload onto an Intel iGPU from an NVIDIA run display, which you might think that's a very strange use case. Maybe you're just using the dedicated GPU fully. There's a couple of configurations where that would be useful, or maybe like maybe you're on an NVIDIA system with an Intel iGPU and you need to do some open CL perform open CL code and you don't want to run it on NVIDIA because that's dog shit. So <laughs> fair enough. It would still be better than the integrated graphics. Are you sure? Are you sure? I'm pretty sure NVIDIA has like code blocks in place. It's like, oh hey, you're using OpenCL, bad performance. And an error message. Use CUDA fuckers. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it would give you like the all the incentives to use CUDA. But I think uh GTX 1080 uh, will curb any integrated uh, Intel the, graphics the, when it comes to OpenCL. <laughs> the driver would disagree with you. The binary blob driver <laughs> has, has words for you. But yeah, the interesting bit is actually the last one, which is added AMD secure memory encryption compatibility. NVIDIA adding AMD stuff to their drivers. Okay. Uh, I, I mean, that, that's 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 for that's for a GP GPU. No, that's to like make sure yeah. that shit running in your on your because like G, GPU memory is like very unprotected. Uh, everything right. has access to it pretty much. So if if you're gonna be running like a lot of compute stuff, you want to have whatever is running in your GP RAM encrypted. That make that makes sense, especially now that like supercomputer markets kind of moving on over to Epic. I will else? say, um, I did install these uh, with my antic weighted my my vintage 2016. I mean, they work. I didn't notice anything. <laughs> more negative so <laughs> if they install and run that's what a driver's supposed to do hey. right yeah when you reboot this x come up so, okay all right <laughs> pedro maybe you know something about this you've heard of like nvidia's the there's an nvidia server package in ubuntu there is uh it's uh just what the in the cinnamon toast install. fuck is that for it, it's for headless installs it doesn't come with any of the x extensions it's Purely for GPU compute work, so you don't waste any resources in having that X functionality there. It's just for compute. That's it. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> uh, that, that seems like an Intel move. Yeah, well, it also seems like something that should be called like uh, NVIDIA Headless. They called it NVIDIA Server, and it's only available on Ubuntu because uh, Canonical decided to make that available. Well, I was just wondering, because Scott NVIDIA was drivers. talking earlier in Discord, and he was like, no, what, what's the NVIDIA Server? I was like, that d doesn't exist. That's not a real thing. <laughs> it, it is a Canonical is. thing, yes. <laughs> yes, it's something that was made by a third party. So, it, it, yes. yeah. it, it, it shouldn't exist, but it but does. But it does. <laughs> All right. Just like, just like Linux games. It's another one of those use cases. But Ladies yeah, and gentlemen, no, this one... good news. Here's what we got to talk about. We can all throw away. We can just quit talking about NVIDIA. We can throw our NVIDIA cards out, Pedro. Yeah. <laughs> no, we can't. Uh, also, uh, yeah, it's the new AMD RX 6000 series. And uh, Extreme Tech claims that it is optimized to battle Ampere. Ampere, however you want to say it. Um, I'm it's, I'm petty. Uh, it, yeah, it's, uh, what it's not optimized to do is, uh, well, it's not optimized to my wallet because they're all too expensive. So AMD announced the, uh, Let's the three. Let's talk about a problem I have with this. Okay. Here's my problem. <laughs> numbers. Here's my problem with your numbers. AMD, you know, I love you. I got a thread ripper. Um, got a 1700. Mm, and I, another wall of stuff that I bought from you. Check this out. Yeah. Got what I'm assuming is your frames per second, but only on yours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I've seen the lies that people have done with bar charts. We'll look at this uh, second one here, Borderlands 399. It looks like it's a significant gain over the competitor, but for all I know, that's 98. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but they do have the scale on the left. Uh, it's not, you know, like previous AMD uh, graphics uh, or AMD bar charts that they've done in the past, but they just straight up lied. Uh, although there is no official confirmation yet as to how the RX 6800, 6800 XT, and RX 6900, nice, uh, will actually work. But yeah, the... The issue I have with the uh, the new lineup of cards is because is they all have the, 16 gigs of memory, and you're very opposed to that idea. 
Uh, no, I'm very opposed to the price, because the 6800, uh, which they seem to be uh, trying to compare it to the 20, 2080 Ti, so they're basically going after the 3070, they priced that at 580 or $570 MSRP, and then the 6800 XT is... Uh, Six hundred and fifty dollars, and the sixty nine hundred XT is a thousand dollars. I don't see the problem here. I do. Nope. I'm not spending five hundred and whatever. I'm not even spending five hundred dollars MSRP that Nvidia is asking for the thirty seventy. Let alone a heck of a lot more. <laughs> but yeah. Other than the price, there's also one teeny tiny issue with the. Um, Ray tracing yep. implementation. Oh, that, oh, uh, oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were gonna. No, uh, uh, you can talk about rage mode. I'll uh, I'll leave that up to you. Uh, it was actually about the software based ray tracing when Lisa Sue came out on stage. It's like, oh, um, we have all this new technology, and then it changed to can't remember his name, and he was talking about the software uh, implementation being based on DXR and only working with um, DirectX 12 Ultimate. And yeah, so if you happen to get one of these and, you know, by the time that Mesa catches up that the card actually works on Linux, you're not going to be able to play Quake 2 with this. At least you won't get any performance advantage than with any other card. I, I, you know what? If, if you walked up to me and said, well, you know what? Don't buy this. Why? <laughs> Quake 2 perform? I would slap your bitch ass where you stood. <laughs> well, I mean, I no, mean like m- m- maybe I would think that I got sent back to 1998. And I'm like, wait, <laughs> hold on, did I, did I, did I, did I reverse rip and winkle, winkle myself? I don't, I don't know. I don't, My I don't issue know. here is the price entirely, but yeah, no, I, I, their I mean, uh, ray tracing implementation me, is me, purely software based. All right, first off, <laughs> welcome to electric 16 gigajoule land for everyone. You get a 16, you get a 16, you get a 16. Also, here's the upside of this. This is why you can, I believe, put a little bit of faith in the AMD benchmarks. And that's quite simple. These prices, they show confidence in one's product. Mm. These are not, fuck, okay, well, we can compete on price. This is AMD saying, we don't fucking have to, we're going to undercut them to sell these mother, to drive them out in volume, but we don't have to compete on price anymore, NVIDIA. We don't. Yeah, I mean, and oh, by the uh, way, NVIDIA, thanks for making $1,000 look cheap. <laughs> Hashtag I, I, love AMD. I mean, yeah. If if these numbers are to be believed, then Nvidia might get around for their money. I really hope they do because mm-hmm. they've been sitting pretty for far too long. But you know, from from the Linux perspective, because this is a Linux podcast, install in, uh, install install time support for these cards is probably going to be somewhere closer to this time next year. I don't maybe th- closer to August. <laughs> I will we'll see. Don't don't hold your breath. I don't think. But, I think this is more of an evolution from RDNA one than it is an entirely new architecture. Mi- yeah, but we've we've seen how distros are, especially on their install images, are pretty slow to have like newer versions of. Mesa. That's why we installed the tool that we used last week. <laughs> Play on Linux. No, the one that updates your firmware every day. Uh huh. <laughs> but that's all. But that's only that's for the, just the that's card the firmware. It's not yeah, that's, the drivers. That, that, that's just the firmware, not the actual Mesa drivers. <laughs> and and again, that's also dependent on like when Mesa is actually doing the driver release. Yeah. Uh, I am. I am really interested though to see what these guys can do with the open source drivers if they're claiming this type of performance increase, and with ACO and like whatever other secret sauce Valve is working on claiming to outperform like native DirectX. I'm curious to see what kind of actual performance gains they can squeeze out on Linux with the open source drivers because having having been using the 5700 XT for a couple weeks now. It's really good. Like what is it's, it's it's a rock solid card on Linux. Because I know a lot a lot of the main worry even from the AMD zealots um they know that a oh, man it might be 6 months before we get like a good rock solid driver like we saw with the launch of um Not Navi or- the initial Navi rollout. But the I, I would like to see a very competent closed source driver on Linux because right now the only reason you and the main reason is to what Jordan said something to get you by mm-hmm. until Mesa gets caught up you know so you can play your games you can run your resolve you can use your blender 
until me. But like this is kind of, AMD. <laughs> yeah, we've seen I that. I am GLRX going to have that. faith because you know you could say, "Hey, man, these cards are going to suck. They're not going to going to compete." And I'm like, "Yeah, because this is AMD." Then AMD's like <laughs> dropped in. Like now what? Well, uh, they're going to continue doing the drivers thing. Maybe, maybe they are. You could be right. But I, I hope so. I, I see. I see you believe in magic. Yes, <laughs> but I was the one who used FGLRX on Linux for a long, long time, and boy, that was a piece of shit software. So the, it was yeah, bad. <laughs> yeah, a- a- AMD GPU Pro is also not fantastic. One other thing that uh, this, this article brings up. Um, that I want to talk about. Uh, then you you had it in the show notes. These things are apparently tuned for AMD processors. They have this AMD smart memory access thing mm-hmm. on the uh, 500 series chipsets that gives the CPU full access to the GPU memory. All so, your memory RAM, yeah. Yeah, so they're they're saying like this is this is where where we're seeing like these large deltas in the in the unlabeled bar chart. This is a lot of where that's coming from. Uh, cutting down on trivial memory operations and memory copies, awesome. which again could be could be very interesting. I'm interested to see what this that, actually yeah. looks like. It's unf- on like it's unfair, Jordan, because they're, they're favoriting their own processors. <laughs> they make them. I think they get to make that choice. It's not fair. Uh, um, and 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 Intel would very much agree with you on that stance. Um. Yeah, uh, but yeah speaking, no, speaking, this current yeah, generation, the thing, man. Um, there's not a word that has been mentioned. Uh, here's something they have in parody with the new 30 series NVIDIA cards. Not a fucking word on your um silicon dedicated silicon for streaming. Shrug emoji. So you guys get that going mm-hmm. with you. Um, I just want to say, welcome to the budget high end option being one thousand dollars. Brave new world, kids. Yeah, no, or, or, the budget or, here is NVIDIA with the 3070. NVIDIA has the cheapest GPU of the current generation. What the hell? <laughs> Why do you hate NVIDIA? I don't. <laughs> I, I hate NVIDIA about as much as I hate AMD, but... So why do you love Intel so much? <laughs> right? What? Is, it, is it because they have functional ray tracing now in Mesa? <laughs> Could be. <laughs> Damn, my plan. Intel has been tracing foiled. compiler. Support for ray tracing. No word on Frank tracing. Uh, this is just a uh, commit over the uh, GitLab. So, yeah, this is for the upcoming Z or whatever you want to call it, ReZ. And uh, yeah, Vulcan driver code for compiling ray tracing pipelines, uh, to managing acceleration structures, dispatching the rays. Yeah, ray tracing is going to yeah. be a thing. Yeah, it's not fully complete just yet, but this is mostly oh, well, work. No. Uh, yeah, so I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll see some some additional performance gains on like iGPUs because like that's that's a big underloved market segment on Linux. I'm pretty sure if you can figure out a way to get Mesa to squeeze as much performance out of like iGPUs as possible, that'll make like budget laptops a lot better in terms of oh yeah enabling people because to right now. Period. You you still need to get a Haswell or higher laptop if you want to get actual Vulkan compliance from Mesa. Mm-hmm. So anyone that has, say, an Ivy Bridge laptop or older, you're not going to get Vulkan properly supported yeah. ever at this point. So, but yeah. Think, well, think, think about how, how much humor and fun can be had by inviting your friends over with your integrated iGPU and um, like running a benchmark and cutting on ray tracing and having a good laugh. <laughs> yeah, m- m- maybe maybe you two can Look run quick two on your yes. intel. Dude, dude, no. dude. Then then, it, then the fans kick in and it starts sliding across the desk. Could be brilliant. It is absolutely brilliant. In, indeed, and maybe maybe some of this will get picked for the Mesa AMD ray tracing stuff. I don't know. Uh, that's the nice thing about these things being open source. Is that they are. Um, I, well, going to come, uh, Nvidia's going to do an Nvidia man. There's going to be the open the open standard for Vulkan with ray tracing that Intel and um, a- AMD is going to do, and, and, and Nvidia's is going to be like, get right. CUDA two. <laughs> right. CUDA two. Streams, shut up. Right. CUDA, CUDA two now with more laser beams. <laughs> more CUDA. Laser CUDA. <laughs> so lads, uh, Linux gaming is set to get a whole lot better in 2021. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, this is this is so spoiler alert. This is from a Tech Radar article that sourced a Pharonix article. So I had to play the <laughs> find the primary source in the Pharonix article game. We were talking about that a little bit uh, in between the segment, um, but I posted the link to that presentation in the show notes. So you can view that for yourself. Can I, uh, can so, I take a moment real quick about that presentation? 
I wanted to watch it live. I even retweeted it. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going to come back and I had some things to go do. And I was there probably like maybe five minutes before the presentation. Who's it? Open Caldera? Uh, 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 Calabora, the oh, Calabora. Yes. All right, yeah, yeah the, the 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 bounty people. Yep, y'all can get fucked because <laughs> there's like registering for your site, then trying to do another registration to pre-register to register for the get uh, fucked. Get no. all yeah. the fucked. You you don't need that many steps between me and try me trying to watch something, man. I mean, again, let me see if I can uh, reemphasize this point. Get fucked. Okay. <laughs> all right. So yeah, Collabora. Um, if you don't know who they are, um, they're a bunch of open source developers. They essentially say, "I want to put this up. I, I want this thing done," and they'll assign developers to get it. Mm-hmm. Uh, they've been working a lot with Valve. They've been working a lot with uh, the open source projects to get gaming a little bit better. And this is talking a little bit about the approach that they've been uh, they've been taking to solve some of the problems. Uh, in this case, it's mainly case sensitive file systems, uh, anti cheat, and memory management. Um, these are all big problems that developers have been dealing with under Linux, especially Windows developers trying to port stuff over to Linux. So making mm-hmm. that easier will hopefully allow for more games to come over. Um, case specific file systems, they say, is actually a solved problem. Uh, you can do it in user space, but it's expensive. Um, but per directory, case and sensitivity has been available since uh, for since like kernel five six. With uh, is that the kernel level or is it file system level? Is that the XD four uh, well, thing? Uh, the, those those mm-hmm. kernel those drivers are in the uh, in the kernel. Okay. So, yes. Uh, so yeah, the the um, the XT4 driver does in fact have um, case insensitiv- insensitivity support. It's not on by default. You have to specifically enable it for the directory. And unfortunately, a lot of kernel a lot of distributions don't actually ship with this option on. So a lot the big resistance they're seeing there is like actually getting. Uh, like F- Fedora was fine with it, uh, Ubuntu was fine with it, but older distributions specifically lack this functionality. Um, the other one was uh, implementing like specific Futex two code. Remember that story we were t- we were talking about a while ago, where like <laughs> Linus was yelling at that one dude for like trying to implement a spin lock um, yes. because this <laughs> yeah. is what you do. This is what you do in Windows. So. Um, the collabor- the collabor people go on to say that, yes, this is actually a well-known issue. This is a problem that Linux has because there are other ways to do it, but this is, uh, it's still a known use case. We want to be able to support it. So they've uh, implemented Futex code to, or it, Futex 2 code to, um, to allow this sort of memory management. Apparently it results in anywhere from like a 15% better performance with F-Sync. So that's nice. Mm. Uh, and the other, and the other thing they were talking about is anti-cheat. Um, we know that dealing with easy yeah. anti-cheat yes. is a big problem. They talk about, um, they talk about some of the implementation problems and how anti-cheats can detect, hey, this is running a modified operating system. So by implementing a kind of syscall dispatcher to to bottle the anti-cheat sit to say, hey, you stop here. Everything we're providing through Wine is like is is Windows, quote unquote. Everything under that you don't have access to. Mm. Um, so that's supposed to be uh, coming in 5.11. So look forward to the easy anti-cheat people saying, oh, they're doing this. Let's figure out a way to fuck that up, too, in the next Thanks, year. Thanks, Epic. No, no. <laughs> what Jordan Sung just told everyone, breaking news, people, easy anti-cheat will work 100%. No issues. <laughs> go go with play Rocket 5. League. Guaranteed. Go play Rocket League. Yeah. yeah. Flawless. Rocket League. <laughs> Um, probably among us at that point, Fall Guys. Yeah, Paladins. I, I very much want to play Paladins again. Um, oh, there were so many other games. I can't really think of one. I just, it's just Paladins. Whenever I hear Easy Anti Cheat, yeah, that's the one game that I'd very much the like. The only to time, play and it, it wasn't even for like the only time I've been hit. I have been this strangely fortunate life. Maybe I just get good taste in picking games by any type of like online lockout bullshit was uh DMC five. Mm. Yeah. Because Burp. I, I Burp. was trying to get the uh, resolution <laughs> dialed in correctly and restarting the game. And apparently I restarted it too many times or something like, or I changed the no, OS. <laughs> yeah. And that kicked in. It's like, you can't play your game for 24 hours. Fuck. Oh, thanks for buying it. Yeah. The, yeah. the one for me is Vermintide two. I really want to play that in multiplayer. Mm-hmm. But that one's used in EAC. First one isn't so single player works for Vermintide, but it's left for dead, right? You want to play that with your buds. So the, well, even then, like, hey, we could play Fall Guys, maybe, but I would still be sketchy as hell because yeah, to your point, yeah, they flip a bit and you're done. Yeah. 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 We just gotta but, make sure the bit would also affect Windows. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. basically make the kernel aware of that particular system call, which 
sounds like it is what they've done. And Dead by Daylight. It goes, and there's another game that would, <laughs> yeah, that'd be a fun game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it, it, it's good to see that this sort of work is being done. They're like carefully considering it. I like the approaches. Try to fix as much stuff in user space as possible. And if you need to mm-hmm. change the kernel, change very specific things and for you, those specific use cases. They've did some like heavy stuff. You know, that's one of the reasons we're waiting for like the NVIDIA drivers for 5.9 and above because they put that like anti condom shim blocker in there. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And Nvidia's yes. like, damn it! That we were going to make use of that, and they're like, get wrecked, <laughs> Nvidia. Fuck, we gotta do it the right way. Yeah, you do. Yep. Orange Julius. Yeah, the the open source Caesar three. It's it's chugging along. It's the Steam. Shut up. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, yeah, um, the open source Caesar three. It's chugging along. They have a new release out. It's one five zero. They added some new localization options. Save games now. Save under your um under your actual language, uh, Polish, Swedish support, uh, so on and so forth. Um, they have some UI fixes. There's a windowed mode. Now you can do dash dash windowed and it will launch in windowed, um, and some gameplay fixes, nothing too crazy, no Linux specific fixes, but you know, if you, if you like city builders, if you like stabbing people in the back or sodomy, this might be the game for you. (laughs) Actually, if you, uh, like the Caesar series specifically, and you didn't really like any of the other, um, city builders yeah season three is the game that you want to play so yeah go and download julius hmm. yeah <laughs> this thing and i just want to give it a mention man because hey open source games yeah we've bro. been talking about it for a yeah. good, long while too yeah, yeah so it's all right so this is exactly where, where, what you fucking think it is 100 <laughs> percent. when i say vim mario you're like oh i wonder if that nope it's nothing other where e mario x that when I scroll down, there better be, and there it is. Yep. Uh, it's some old school <laughs> Mario right inside of them. Kind of, you got some Goombas, you got some Marios, you got some stairs. You don't, I don't see the um, Doom plants or any peaches. I do see a game over. <laughs> now, keep in mind, I mean, this is not quite as elaborate as um, Donkey Kong and H Top, but it's still kind of brilliant. Usage, play Mario, <laughs> dot them. You'll never be able to oh. exit it. There's always that. So <laughs> you just close the terminal. Just go to the cross. There. No. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, it, it, it's it's the, it's that meme with the Google search. It's like, how do I quit? How do I quit Vim? How do I quit smoking? Uh-huh. How do I quit heroin? How do I, top result? How do I quit Vim? I just uh, yeah, Arthur and threw that in uh, the show notes suggestion. I'm like, all right, there it is. Just do that to one of your coworkers and leave it running and accuse them of playing games. <laughs> yep. Him or whoever, however you want to roll it. Yep. Just, just make sure you get them good and yep. alert the supervisor. Like, playing video yeah. games. And, and, then, and then the supervisor shows up and is like, no, it's my turn now. Fuck you. Bonus, <laughs> bonus points if you do this at a game development studio. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> bonus points if you do that, if you work at Nintendo and you pull this out. Ooh. <laughs> Uh, so, then, it, then it'll get a cease and desist like right there. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're, you're gonna get ceased and desisted out to the fucking curb. Coming up next, we're bringing the scourge, baby. Yar. Arr, care position time. Welcome back to the spookiest Chairquisition so of the year. Too spoopy five me. This week we're taking a look at Scourge Bringer from Flying Out Games and E-Studio. It's done on Mono Game, which is an interesting choice. Uh, you can pick it up for about $16.99 US. What is it? Scourge Bringer is a fast-paced, free-moving, roguelite platformer. Help Kira, Kyra, to explore the unknown and slash your way through ancient marshes or ancient machines. Marshes, where did I get Ancient, that? ancient marshes. Marsha, Marsha. <laughs> yeah, uh, Marsha, 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 guarding the seal of her past and maybe the redemption of humanity. So, uh, dear villagers, the publisher, they sent us some keys over the Curator Connect, so thank you very much for that. <laughs> And once again, because Pedro likes the game and only likes the game so that he can go first, Pedro goes first. No, I actually do like the game. Not because uh, I want to go first. I honestly don't care about that. Uh, it launched with absolutely no fuss out of the box. It all uh, holds 144 hertz at 2560 by 1440. 
that's very good. Uh, and you really do want, if you change the resolution from uh, 1080 to 2560 by 1440, take the little box that says pixel perfect. It's a little too blurry otherwise. Uh, the DualShock 4, it worked out of the box, uh, but the game does seem to have Xbox prompts. So, yeah, take that for what you will. The combat sounds are most definitely on point, and honestly, if there was background music, I it didn't even register for me. You didn't, you didn't um, hear the angry wow. guitars whenever an yeah. enemy showed up? Like, damn. You missed Not half. Really. I was, I, Pedro, you missed half the game. <laughs> uh, for me, the, the music didn't yeah it just didn't register my brain didn't even pick up on it the um as for the fun i never thought i'd see an actual hipster pixel roguelike rendition of the devil may cry style of combat but here we are it does that very very well you're in the air the whole time until the room is clear and then you skit that's it um there's just one teeny tiny issue because your uh, character as you're going around the air it's just a white blob and then you hit an enemy and it flashes also a very light color so you can't see your character just forget about it the one thing that i will give the uh developers and they did a very good job of this was if you hit the d-pad in a relative direction where an enemy is the game actually does a very good job of uh sending your character directly to that enemy so every single time you feel like you nail it but you can tell that the game is helping you but yeah no primary gameplay loop in this one is done almost to a t uh the game also actively rewards you for going as fast as you can through each and every room some rooms um, have uh, two waves some only have the one some have a little pylon with blood on it that you'll get some uh, bonuses but yeah no it, it actively rewards you for getting through the levels as fast as possible and it makes everything a bit easier because you're getting those upgrades as you go along the yeah i love it when small indie games uh, actually nail one thing like do one thing the one mechanic that you really want to explore just focus on that and do it really really well maybe it's the linux user in me and the unix philosophy of do one thing and do it well maybe it's the td tidy optimizations to the combat that actually make it flow really well all throughout as much as i played of it. it's like 70 something minutes or 80 minutes uh so just over an hour and i like it Whatever reason it is, I like it. I like it very much. Four chairs. <laughs> uh, so I, I guess I'll go next. Oh, one, uh, hang on. I, I just had a <laughs> lot of shit thrown at me at one time. Uh, Pedro gets four <laughs> chairs, and uh, apparently Jordan goes next. All right. Yeah, why not? <laughs> okay. Uh, so on, uh, hey, on man, it takes a minute. I have to zone out when Pedro talks. Fair, fair. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I just wait for the noise to stop. Uh, on Fedora 32, uh, launches out of the box, hold 60. I tried this on the um, i7 6700K with the 5700 XT and the 3900X with the GTX 1080 Ti. Um, so it's all good. Hold 60. It likes to start in that little 720p windowed mode, though. But, you know, whatever. Um, controls are very, very tight and responsive. You do really feel like a super bouncy ball of death. Um, though, I'll, I, like Pedro said, your little nubbin of a player character gets easily lost at sea in the ocean of pew pew everywhere, especially uh, in some of the boss fights. Um, yeah, the, the soundtrack kind of alternates between like Zen and heavy guitars, but it whips back and forth like a Smith child. So I don't know the, uh, it, it wasn't quite like doom where like that gets you, that soundtrack gets you just like super fucking pumped and you're just like, yeah, let's murder some demons, but it, it tries. So it gets some points for that. Um, fun was, I mean, the the main gameplay loop seems a little bit button mashy to me. Oh, I'm I'm sure with time and practice you can become a finely tuned, precise murder machine. Uh, the fidelity of those controls makes it real clear that you can do that. Uh, but until you get to that point, you're kind of just flailing around trying to kill everything before it doesn't a chance to attack and kill you. And the goal here is to run through um all as many rooms as you can until you find the mini boss, so you can steal the key um and go fight the actual boss. Um, I actually did manage to get to the first boss, uh, who is some kind of bodybuilding flying torso, and I got to do about two-thirds of HP before I died, and, you know, back to the beginning I go, because it's a roguelike. Um, and I think 
here's, here, here's, I think, the crux of my issue with it. Uh, the thing roguelites really have to nail is the ratio between luck versus mechanical advancement versus player advancement. This game really puts the thumb down on player advancement, and that's not a bad thing. It just means you have to get good at the game. But it does mean that your gameplay loop has to be engaging enough to support a player investing the time to get good. Um, and the combat is really good, but I find the levels themselves and the actual going through them, like, really boring and repetitive. Not to the extent that, like, Dungeons of Clay was repetitive, but the fights are very similar. Like Pedro said, most of them have two waves. Sometimes you get a one wave room and you're like, it's, it's, an, it happens enough to give you false hope. You're like, okay, can I go to the next room? Nope, I guess not. We're, we're, we're dealing with this. And yeah, it has, it has the dual currency. You can do the per run upgrades. You can do the overall upgrades by collecting, by essentially farming mini bosses and regular bosses to buy into the talent tree, which gives you more moves. It gives you like the ability to deflect bolts and whatnot. Stuff that you'd expect in one of these combat roguelites. Um, but um, really, really the crux of it, though, the game, what it's actually about is health management to the point where you get to the mini boss and then you get to the actual boss with enough capacity that you don't just get insta killed. And that sort of gameplay loop doesn't really do it for me. It's very well done otherwise, and it might re appeal to people like Pedro who are into that stuff. But for me, I can just give it two cheers. All right, so let's talk about how it ran over here on Debian 10 on the Threadripper 1920X, 32 gig of RAM with a 2060th pixel game. So you'd assume it ran quite well, and it did on a technical level. It's completely legit, and Solid 60 at 2160p, as things should be. X-Clone worked. PS4 controller worked as well. Let's talk about the fun, though. Aren't we a floaty little fucker in this game? Like, there. There. That's my main complaint with it period um you weigh slightly more than a hummingbird's right testicle touching the floor is kind of code in this game for you done fucked right up and sometimes that's really no joke since you know spikes hang out there they'll get you killed to death more often than not this is one of those games where you're expected to die a lot and occasionally get a little story you know fed back to you back at the hub that's okay so what is it man you float around same damn room shit slightly rearranged and you kill some baddies what do you have? You got stab, you got swing stab, dash stab, and pew at your disposal. Upgrades, as these lot have said, you know, they come in the form of like just straight RNG drops and blood where you can buy stuff. Oh, did I mention there's a skill tree? Hmm. So I guess I should An say. An actual tree. <laughs> yes. So that means I have to call it a one of those games where you're expected to die a lot light. Yes, because uh, save progression. Most of your time is spent in hover Gensu mode. I mean, you're trying to stay alive, especially after you discover that holding down X equals perma swing and almost damn near perma flight. Spoilers. On the staying alive part, you won't. You'll die. Um, you end up, you go back to the hub, you wash, rinse, repeat. That's it, man. The combat, I liked it for what it is. It's fun for about the first 10 minutes. Then it gets re very, uh, the repetition, it just sets in with a quickness, man. Not to mention the lack of variety in the rooms and the enemies. I kind of made it to a giant ball that killed me rather quickly. Once. That's kind of my street cred for Scourge Bringer. Because I did that. Yeah. I was almost proud of myself. I would really like to see this character and story unfold in an actual game. You know, one with thought out enemy placement, crafted levels, and, you know, the occasional save point. Flo because, you know, floaty or not, the controls, they're tight. They're legit. Don't touch that. But, you know, if this was like a regular game instead of this RNG, you know, roguelike, light bullshit that I just don't like, man. I know you might like it and that's cool. That's fine. We can still hang out. Come over. We'll play Sonic. But for me, this is like, you know, are you, are you a fan of like building a world out or do you like, Dancing around in multiple rooms. It's that debate. For me, the rooms get boring. They get boring quick. I, I like exploring things. I'm a more linear person. Um, if you're looking to pick this up and dick around, you know, just a game that you can pick up, dick around like 10, 15 minutes, put down, not feel bad about it, and maybe come back to it a little bit later, this might fill that void. Now, I'd typically just be like, fuck this game, one share it's out. But the thing that Pedro didn't pay any attention to the second you start combat, you were treated to either some mellow shit 
or some legitimate rock it out tunes, man, that um, seriously crank away that I was like bopping away to like right up until you get hit. And that's just mm, it flat lines. I was also a fan of that. I thought the sound design on this was refreshing. So I can I can happily give it, you know, definitely a sort of one. It's not too outrageously priced. Mm hmm. All right, we got we got any final thoughts before we head on out? That's pretty cool. uh, I was actually surprised that uh, Ven didn't like this one more because he seemed to be a big fan of the uh, over the top combat in Near and uh, Devil huge May Cry, fan, so. huge fan of all that. Uh, I didn't know anything about the game. I just picked it up right, and I was like, "Oh, it's a Curator Connect. Oh, look, Swingy Sword. Oh, this is great. Boom, boom." Then I died, and I saw it. I was like, "That's a hop. Fuck." Yeah, you yeah, fucked it all up right there. <laughs> I, I I don't know because like I, I'm almost the opposite of that. Like the the in between the actual gameplay is a little mm-hmm. too threadbare. There's not there's not a lot going on. No, and uh, forward um, against you. That's all you do. No, the yeah. the point here is very much the combat. It's like they focused on the combat and they nailed that shit. Right, they right. nailed which, it. <laughs> which which would be nice if a the rooms had like. I'm I'm not a fan of the whole go through one wave and then fight through another wave, but also do the explorey thing. Um, I'd I'd rather like more intense one stage encounters, mm-hmm. um, and maybe maybe a little bit more healing, like having a bit more healing rooms because like again, the the game is just about health management at that point because once you have to kill the mini boss and kill the main boss and take no damage so that you can continue on. Which there's again, the rooms that have that little pillar. That doesn't uh, that, that doesn't heal you reliably though, and sometimes yes. it doesn't it doesn't it, it doesn't help you. I would I would like some reliable recovery. I th- would like th- more variation in the enemies early on in the game because killing the same fucking guys over and over and over and over. And yeah, I, I would say to your thing, Jordan, I'd always count on there being two waves. But yeah, but statistically, like th- that's like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Most of the rooms do have two waves. Yeah. When you, when you look at that second wave, you're like, "Huh." All right. Right, but 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 then it becomes like, okay, where 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 is the best spot in the room that I can chill out and kill the last dude so that I don't get completely cluster fucked? I definitely believe the, that's part of their mechanic, though. Like you, you need it, to it, like it, that it, last it placement. And you what, need to be moving. Like the focus here is very much movement because if you stop, you fucked up and you're going to take damage. And it, so yeah, it, you need to be. It's yes, it's hover Ginsu management, but like I definitely had two runs that started like right off the gate. The guy was like, here's some OP fucking weapons and guns and shit. Here, take this. It's dangerous got, to go I, alone. I got that after I died like four times and I uh-huh. thought the game was giving me. A yeah, pity it, it gives you a pity. Oh, fuck. it is. It does. It, it yeah. absolutely is. <laughs> and then you just get like this uh, nuke machine gun. You're like, yep, this is good. <laughs> I, I, I got a grenade launcher, but yeah, I, I got that one time too. Uh, yeah, it's basically the only time you die from that seems like straight up carelessness that having that type of firepower mm-hmm. gives you. And you know, yeah. Right, yeah. It, it's, it's okay. I guess. Um, if, if you like the style, style of game, then I really think that you'll dig it, but like, I, I don't think it has enough to sort of rope people into the genre. Coming up next, we got some merch requests. If you want to send us some merch requests, become a Patreon and send us some hate mail. And wouldn't you know it, we've reached the end of another Linux Gamecast Weekly. Chances are, we probably said something that you didn't entirely Your Halloween with. special sucks, Dufraid. Too spooky. <laughs> Nick that cage like did not come you. off the wall and bite you at any point. I was I had I money on that. I too I too was disappointed about that. But if you were disappointed by something we said uh on the show, Nori should show some up hate mail. With her she Nori should be the waffler with her syrup of truth. Oh no, just like slam a waffle iron right on Pedro's face. <laughs> Knock out some teeth. That's it's gotta be pl- that, would, that would hurt no. a little bit. <laughs> No, there's like an extension cord too. Like she plugged it in. She set the subs. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if you go to LinuxGameCast.com, uh, you can give Nori some ideas uh, as to how, what to throw at my head by clicking the contact button, selecting LGC Weekly from the little show uh, box. And Philly got your name. Philly got your email. A subject, and. Uh, yeah, send us whichever message you would like us to feature right here, right now. Smash, if you're a game developer, Waffle you'd smash. like us to have a look at your game, please include three keys, otherwise you just get made fun of. No, no, we've uh, had listen, that. Pedro, Pedro, I'm sorry, I'm special, 
Also, I can't read. And I'll send you. <laughs> and we're going on Kickstarter, and we don't even have a working demo. Can't out, read. So also, can't you count. talk about well, our game? Also, Windows only. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, you can play it on Proton now, right? Like, it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> everything we described, uh, I mean, listen, we're assholes anyway, but everything we described has happened more than once. Mm. Combined. Like, you put that nope stack together and like, oh, one of these again. Oh, did they get all the tech, all the tick marks? <laughs> Does it tick all yeah. the boxes? Bingo! We, we have, yeah, we, we actually do have bingo cards. <laughs> right. I, I think I'm down, I'm down 50 bucks. I gotta That's stop right. playing this game. So, <laughs> yeah. Pedro Barajolio would link a word with you, sir. <laughs> but I, bar- but close bar- enough. Bar- As bar- I said, Barajolio. Bar- bar- <laughs> sure. We love our audience. We I, really I do. I addressed him by his Christian name. Thank you very much. <laughs> he well, writes. What does it say? What does it say? I, I wanted to buy a t-shirt from your store, but it looks like it's missing the most obvious pattern. Two thumbs fondling a conveniently hyphenated, conveniently placed pair of track pads on a ST dot dot dot, sorry, comma, an areola controller. Please fix this ASAP so I can give you monies and em- embarrass. <laughs> embarrass. <laughs> embarrass. <laughs> yeah. embarrass. <laughs> My wife, when we go out, love your show. Smiley face, PS, Brazilian Portuguese, European Portuguese. How does that work? Is there like it's a converter? The Brazilian Portuguese greater than European Portuguese. Oh, I, I thought mean, you needed. Like, wait, do do you need like an adapter or something? <laughs> a, a, a Portuguese to Portuguese adapter. I, listen, man, it, it it could be like going from like one twenty to two forty or something. Like a ground plug. <laughs> I don't actually know what the powder standard is in uh, Brazil. But uh, yeah, no. If we're talking raw numbers. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, but th- th- there's definitely a lot more Brazilian Portuguese speakers than there are European Portuguese speakers. Listen, so, so, so. Here, here's, I got an idea, Jordan. <laughs> well, uh, well, well, this well. is pure genius. We were going to um, send Pedro to Brazil with a fork to discover what the power <laughs> ratings are. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't I just look at the socket? No, no. no. I don't want to buy a it. fork. We can just make him lick it. No, listen. <laughs> I, I know people that let him borrow the fork. <laughs> All right, but so so here's the thing though. That the shirt he's describing, like that exists. It's like the the game controller shirt, but it's like over the boobs. I mean, what? I guess we, we, it's got to be a we, Steam we, controller. I, I guess yeah, it just has one. to have the areolas drawn over the nipple area. <laughs> That way we can like uh, get sued by like Valve. But we'll get sued by Valve and Big Nipple. <laughs> oh, you don't want to piss off Big Nipple, no. man. They'll and milk you for everything that's worth. We'll get fucked. They'll man. cover you in pasties. They'll, they'll scorch us. <laughs> we, we, we can't tangle with Big Nipple. Okay. Yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to irritate Big Nipple. It's a bad time. They, they're, they are hard. They are hard. <laughs> they're, they're, the, the cold nipples of justice are swift. Yeah, they're cold and they're hard and they're coming for you. We're not going to beat that. We're not. We tried. Um, Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, big nipple. Give the music. <laughs> you can always nipple. find us. Uh, 8.30 Eastern Standard Time, unless you're one of the awesome psychopaths making the show possible. Show up an hour early in our Discord. If you're an executive producer, we even have a live video stream for the pre-pre-super shows, and thank you so much for making that possible. But, get in touch with me. At Vin Stone on Twitter, that's where I'm at, or just at Vin at mass.linuxteamcast.com. The secret is, I am Big Nipple. You can follow me at The Burning Fool on Twitter to find out if it's like a pepperoni slice. Wait a minute, I thought you were Deep Nipple. I'm Tri Nipple, Big Nipple, Deep Nipple. I'm all the nipples, baby. All right. E eu sou Pedro Mateus, a usar português da Europa ou simplesmente português. I'm going to and subtitle that. And you are going else. to be worshiping fucking Hydra. <laughs> yeah. Hard. Confusing just about everyone else who doesn't actually speak the language. You can find me at an account. Hey, do you know what the closed Twitter. captioning system said? Bitter potatoes. Bitter potatoes. <laughs> Bitter potato Mateus. It's his name. Follow him on Twitter. I need to create a new Twitter account. <laughs> Credits. Credits. <laughs> Eventually, they're coming. They're here. We got to thank our uh, <laughs> lovely, lovely executive producers, our advisors, our patrons, people who make this possible. 
Uh, like we got Vigil and Viking. He's so vigilant, watching, not not tapping when he attacks. We got Haplo. We attack. got Justin. We got Michael J. <laughs> but he also An- protect A- Angel M. Barb Ramped, Scott M. I'm sad no one has like spooky Halloween names for this. We should have thought of that. We should have thought of that. We're sorry. <laughs> We're, that's too much effort. <laughs> The Dark Wing and the Mike T. Hunt. Sea mm. <laughs> Monsters. We got Jack, Dementor, Renault, um, Raider X Machina, and Truggy. Ooh. Our Death Notes, we got Lucy Link. Okay, Basil B, Chat P, Romeo 5, V, uh-huh. N- Nicole C, Marcin K, Martin W, System T, Craig H, Renee K, Leonardo C, Captain Zero. Those are the people who can like, make show Kim. suggestions. If you want to be in <laughs> that one, Ashley G, you can... Chris. Vera Tanuda and Jill. I, I, I've changed the Matrix. Jordan's a little spooked. He's like, things are different. <laughs> I, I, they, they, they are. I'm trying. I'm trying to figure out ways to like make this engaging by being but silent. <laughs> I'm thinking ne- next week I will be less silent. Okay, guaranteed. You will bring full I, nipple fury upon us. It will be the loudest nipples you have ever heard. <laughs> All five of them. Nippo insanity. All five of them? What do like two of them split and then That's the third right, one's just like nipple. It's like hex nipple. <laughs> do not man. question the nipple. <laughs> I I don't you're the one making up nipple facts. I didn't subscribe to your newsletter. It's it's like the quad <laughs> laser, but a little more hairy. Good the night. quad nipple. Five dudes. <laughs> <laughs>